Like, hi everybody, uh, I'm going to uh, be uh, showing you how I throw in an eel net. I've uh, eeled here about a year ago, quite successfully, successfully with Louis. Here's the uh, eel net. Technically, uh, you don't need bait, but there's a little uh, thrush. There's a little thrush I found on the road, like roadkill. So, uh, and it lets the eels know up and downstream that there's something here at least. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Eels don't eat all year round. And uh, but they, they kind of hibernate, and sometimes of the year they go out to the ocean to, I think they go to Samoa, someone told me. And uh, they breed in Samoa. And so uh, we're going to throw this in. I put a weight, heavy weight at one end. The sash weight, old fashioned sash weight. And uh, I uh, put a weight at the other end. Just to hold it in place. Then I uh, tie it up on uh, the sticks over here. I'll see if I can put my camera somewhere. While I'm... Uh, throwing it in I don't think I'm not sure if you're going to see anything let's just put it here see what happens and I need a camera assistant if anybody wants to come and help me <laughs> Sorry about the hold up. Gotta get it sitting in nicely. It's a bit hard to see. You can see the shadow of the steel of the net just here. And I threw the weight down the other side. And there's a little skirt. Now eels travel up and down the side of the river. They stick to the side of the river. They don't swim in the center. So they, they come up and down the skirt here and then uh, they sort of get stuck in the net. Now with the uh, little uh, starling, I think it's a starling, uh, they will just hold it in place, uh, and just make it a little bit more attractive for the, uh, for the uh, eels to come and have a check. 
I, I have caught a little indigenous fish in, in that lake, in this little creek one time. Uh, but Louie and I have caught about a 10 or so eels over a matter of a month up and down this creek. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. We'll come and check it tomorrow afternoon and hopefully we'll have eel for dinner tomorrow night. So, if you've got any questions, ask me if you wish to subscribe. I do a lot of funny little things. It's always fun. I'll see if I can uh, get any uh, eels. And if I do, I'll uh, video us uh, eating them and cooking them and killing them. Thank you.